Well, we said this a few weeks ago that the Nick Ritchie experiment with Toronto was officially over. Unfortunately for us, after we made that video, he was recalled to the team the next day and he scored a goal, but... It appears that everything is now officially done and done. Via Frank Saravelli, the Toronto Maple Leafs have traded away Nick Ritchie and a conditional second round pick for Ilya Labushkin and Ryan Dezingle. By the way, big RIP to Emil Francis as well. This is also on Frank Saravelli's Twitter account. I hadn't said anything about this on social media yet, so this is a good time to put that out there. But right here, it is a pretty good trade for both sides, to be honest. Like, immediately, my first instincts upon hearing this Labushkin and the Zingle for Richie in a pick trade was that Toronto is pretty much getting what they want, and Arizona is kind of getting what they want, too. Before we go any further, though, the condition is Arizona's choice of a third-round pick in 2023 or a second-round pick in 2025. So, whatever the heck that means... It's Arizona's choice. I mean, either way, Arizona's getting a pick out of this. That's kind of what they want, right? They're a rebuilding team. They're going out there trying to lose. They're trying to get as many draft picks as they can. And trading away guys like Ilya Labushkin and Ryan Dezingle, it's definitely going to help them out in that respect. Not to mention, of course, Nick Ritchie, who they're also acquiring, who they could probably hope to turn into something serviceable. He expires in 2023, making 2.5 million bucks, so... You have no choice but to go out there and try to see what he can do. He's on pace for 18 points in 36 games played in the AHL because he has one goal in two Marley's games this season. In the NHL, though, nine points in 33 games. Do the math on that. It's honestly not terrible. Nine divvy 33 multiplied out by 82. He's on pace for 20 points on the year, which, I mean... It's not really the best, but like, for what Nick Ritchie was supposed to be, the Maple Leafs took a big chance on this guy. It didn't really work out. Sure, he had his moments, but for the most part, Nick Ritchie wasn't really what Toronto wanted him to be. In return, though, Ryan Dezingle's a guy that honestly did have a lot better days in Ottawa before stepping over into the other seasons that he has had. He was pretty all right with the Senators in 2018-19. This is the year that he became a really, really highly sought-after free agent target. Eventually with Carolina, though, half a point a game over there, he got sent around to Ottawa and then Arizona as well. Now he's in Toronto, helping out a Maple Leaf squad as a potential middle six depth forward option for them. The big fish here is Ilya Labushkin. This is the one that makes the most sense to me for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Take a look at the profile right here. 6'2", 201 pounds. He's a right-handed defenseman, making $1.35 million till the end of this season. Now, if you take a look at the points, you'll see, okay, he's got 9 points in 46 games this year. He's on pace for 16 points in 80 games. That's not great, but... Ilya Labushkin is a guy that has really honed out his defensive skills over the past few seasons, and he's a guy that a lot of Arizona Coyotes fans were honestly, like, upon what I've seen so far of this trade and the reaction to the trade, a lot of Arizona fans seem kind of upset that they no longer have Labushkin in their system because this Arizona decor is already pretty weak, and you're getting rid of one of the guys that has probably the most sufficient shutdown defensive game on the team. Now, what does that spell for Toronto? It means they're kind of getting what they need. A good, reliable defender to place in the bottom of their lineup. Now, is Labushkin going to be a big minutes, you know, number one guy? Probably not. But just having that right side defensive shutdown guy as another option here, instead of a Dermot, instead of whoever else you would want to put in that position... This overall selection of options gives the Toronto Maple Leafs a lot of flexibility, and that is in turn what they have been looking for. So, Labushkin and Dezingle, in exchange for a conditional pick, as well as Nick Ritchie. Arizona, I hope you're able to turn Nick Ritchie into something serviceable, because yeah, I've kind of been on the I really want this guy to succeed train for a while. It's just very unfortunate to see that it hasn't really worked. As for Dezingle and Labushkin, these guys are going to help out Toronto, so we'll see how they do in the playoffs and beyond. Who knows if there are more trades to come? We have a month until the trade deadline officially comes and goes, but this is a trade that has taken us up here today, February 19th. So talk to me in the comments. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this British Rajah Trolls 99. And bye.